Hello, you lovely people. It's the Clay Golem here. We're back in Foundry, uh, continuing our quest in Fandolin to try and get some of these little things that um, we're getting. A, I'm getting a little bit obsessed by getting this perfectly working the way I want to, even though we've come up cross with some really good ways of doing stuff. Um, and I keep insisting on taking it that little bit further. So in the last video, we had um, shops working really well, really happy with shops. Uh, and then I got onto this slightly strange quest um, of trying to work out how to get my players to be able to enter to the shops to do their shopping and then leave the shops to do their shopping. Um, and we were using the monks active tile triggers in order to switch scene for those things. And I left the last video with the question mark of, um, when a player goes to the shop and then leaves again, we want it to remove their token. Now, we could do that on the way in, but not on the way out, if you get what I mean. Uh, and I was kind of scratching my head a bit, because what I don't want, if this Sorryman's already in a shop, and then Haley joins the shop, Haley, in theory, should see that Sorryman's still token is there. But if Sorryman leaves and it doesn't delete his token, Haley comes into the shop and it looks like Sorryman's there when actually that player's off doing something else. So I didn't want to have all of these duplicate tokens sitting around in all the shops because it kind of gets confusing of who is actually where because every player can see every other player's tokens. Um, now somebody, you lot are brilliant. You really are. Some of the comments and stuff are really, really helpful. Uh, now somebody mentioned about... Um, um, using monks active tile triggers along with a, a, a module called tagger to be able to teleport between things i thought hang on a minute there when i was whizzing through the things i've gone to change scene and use that but there is a teleport one in there so i want to look at that today and i think we probably have the solution we want to for one of those rare occasions i've had a little bit of play before doing this so i have deleted the um the way in <laughs> the way in whatever you want to call it for bath and provisions i've got rid of that um because i want to do this from the beginning to show you how this works so we've got our fandolin map this is bath and provisions in front of us uh, and I have the scene for Barthens Provisions as well, where I've got Elmina um, still with that slightly weird token, but whatever, don't really mind. That that will do. In fact, actually, I might make it bigger so it sort of fills this archway. That might even actually look quite nice. You've got sidetracked already. <laughs> what about a minute in? <laughs> right, back to Fandlin. All right, so what I want here is I want a tile that will trigger when we enter here that will teleport them to Barthens provisions and i need a landing place in Barthens provisions for that so then what i want is in Barthens provisions i want a area that is tagged that when they move their character into it it's going to teleport them back out and land them here now i'm a little bit cautious what i don't want is to teleport them from this scene into Barthens provision to land in the same tag that teleports them back here to this tag because there's this fear of them getting stuck in a loop so i'm going to create four tiles for this so let's go to our tile controls here and i'm going to first of all i'm going to create i'm going to create a tile here okay this is going to be outside of the shop and this is going to be effectively a landing area. So I don't need to have an image for this because this is when they leave Barthens Provisions where they will appear in town. Uh, and it makes sense that they're going to appear in, you know, just outside of town itself. Mm -hmm. Now, if I had a square grid, this might be easier. I've gone with hexes. So obviously I've got a square landing area, which is quite big for a reason. Um, quite a big tile that is square on hexes. I don't need an image for this. Um, coordinates, yep, that's fine. All of this stuff is really good. I don't even need to bother with changing colors. It's not an overhead tile. I don't want an animation on this. I just want to go to triggers. So the trigger for this is going to be none. It doesn't do anything. Okay, so this is just going to be a landing tile that is invisible. And it just literally says when they lose bath, leave Barthens provisions, where is it I want them to land? I'm going to create that tile. I'm going to move it slightly. Now, the reason I've made it so big is what happens if Sorryman and Haley both leave at the same time. If I make the tile that big, it's going to dump them on top of each other, isn't it? Um, what I want to do is make it a bit bigger. 
and see if it will dump them in here um, but not on top of each other so in theory one two three four there's four different places that are very clearly within that tile it could dump them and they're all acceptable they're all just outside the shop so that's my one tile I want to do for that I now want to do my tile for no don't do that silly boy move that out of the way a little bit um, stop selecting it there we go <laughs> I now want to create my tile for when they click on Barthens oh oh yeah it does it that way yeah that's right I can move it ah uh, I'm such a moron <laughs> give me another trigger right this is going to be the one for entering so this is where I do want an image um, because I want them to click on this. I'm in the icons SVG, which is where those map well, all sorts of things are on here. I'm going to go with the barrel one for Barthens provisions. So select that. So they are going to be able to see this. Um, I'm happy to leave it as uh, white. Um, let's just create it for the moment. And I'm going to move that there. Okay. So that should be nice and visible if we scroll out a bit. Um, maybe it's a little large doesn't really matter too much just whatever you think looks good uh, that'll do okay open it up again right so this is going to be Barthens provisions um, so uh, right so we've got the image in there coordinates and things they're all fine no drama um, just set it back to its normal size it's not an overhead tile I don't need an animation I do want to trigger so the setup is yes this is an active trigger um, yeah all tokens don't mind all tokens controlled by anybody and when they enter this in other words their token moves onto it just like before uh we don't want to be able to do it when pausing trigger using image instead of board don't care hover over uh must have sight to trigger i'm going to turn that off because some of these scenes um where we've got global illumination we might not have sight switched on um this way the trigger will work even if i've forgotten to put that on on the token okay so they're not worried about that uh, and they can do this as many times as they want they can go in and out in and out in and out that's fine uh, the actions now this is where I'm going to get it to teleport but I haven't given it anywhere to land yet so let's just update that so we've got a teleport in tile we've got the barrel icon and then we've got the landing tile um, for when they leave here okay so let's go into Barthens provisions and I need to do the same here. So I'm going to create, uh, let's create a, um, let's create a exit tile at the bottom here. So this is going to be um, where they go um, if we want them to actually exit the place. So let's just pick a random image for this. Um, biohazard, yeah, that will do. <laughs> makes no sense whatsoever <laughs> but nor does most of the stuff I do okay so we can create that tile we want a trigger so when we enter this it's an active we want all tokens to be able to set it regardless of who controls them and it's activated when they enter again don't worry about token site not worried about that um, and all the rest of it could stay the same now actions again we want this to teleport we have set up the exit one so let's go to add what happens we want to we were using change scene before which is lovely and that works but that means you've got tokens on both ends if we actually go to teleport we get some options so who are we teleporting the triggering token where are we teleporting them to we can actually go back to this scene let's move those out of the way for a second select coordinates if I hit this location I can select this landing tile that's taken me back to my active scene but you can see now that it's going to teleport the triggering token to the tile position random um, whatever yeah I don't mind whereabouts there are within that box I do want them to snap to that grid though um, do, I want them to delete the source uh, if you're teleporting between scenes, select this to remove the token on the previous scene. I'm going to leave that off for the moment because I'm ho hmm. No, I'm going to leave it on for the moment. If it doesn't work quite the way we want to, I can come back and do that. It's going to delete the... 
So when we exit Barton's provision, it should teleport us to Fandolin outside and delete the token from in here. That's what I think it should do with that. Uh, previous settings, if the token already exists, are fine. Uh, avoid other tokens at destination. So if you've got two people landing outside, I want it to put them somewhere else within that box so it's not putting the tokens over the top of each other if possible. That's why I made that landing one a bit bigger. Okay, update. Whew, and create that tile. So again, that image is a nonsense image, but I just chucked it in there so we can see it. Right, let's create a, another new tile that I'm going to move it in a moment. In fact, actually, we could just leave it there. This is going to be the landing tile for when they enter the shop. So again, triggers. I don't need any triggers or anything for this because it literally is just a landing spot. Create tile. Got my landing spot. Let's go back Fandling. Right, so this one, the barrel, open this up. We already set everything up for it. We've got our picture and everything. We now need our triggers. The setup for our triggers is when we enter this one. Sorry if I'm repeating myself lots. Um, and the action we want is again. Teleport. We want to teleport the triggering token. And where do we want to teleport them to? This landing box. We want to, there is no grid, so it doesn't matter. Uh, we delete source token. We are going to say yes to that. Position, random within there. Um, avoid other tokens if possible. Let's update. And then update that tile. So, in theory, <laughs> in theory, we now should be able to walk onto the barrel and teleport us into the shop, then walk onto that biohazard signal um, sign and teleport us back out of there. So I already have, uh, let me make sure, where is everybody? Um, let's make sure we've got Fandolin active, which is good. So we've got Sorryman out here as a bit of a control and we've got, um, of course, we've got Haley. So we can zoom in a bit on this. Let's go to Haley's view. So I'm logged in as Haley here as a player. Now, first of all, bleh, that tile looks bloody awful. I'm going to have to make sure that is completely um, transparent. So Haley should be able to, if I unpause the game, oh, one day I'll actually remember to unpause the game, eh? <laughs> no promises. <laughs> right, so Haley should be able to walk in here and nothing happens because that's a nothing square. But when I walk on here, I get teleported into the shop. Now, um, Oh no, it's fine. I thought she <laughs> put it teleported her in hidden. So it's teleported her in. Now again, I need to sort this landing thing out so it's um, you know, so it's more transparent. I don't want to be able to see that. But she's in here. The question is, is she still outside as well? No. No, she's not. So she's gone into the shop and her token is not outside. Sorryman does not know where Haley's gone. And that's fine. Absolutely fine with that. She's in a shop. Which shop? I don't know. She's just gone, uh, which is really good if you want to move NPCs around as well and they're looking for somebody or maybe they're trying to track down somebody in town, uh, the bad guy, they know they're in town somewhere and you can move that icon around legitimately with sight on um, and they may or may not encounter them. Okay, so the next bit then, being Haley, is can I? am I allowed to leave this shop? I mean, I can wander around all over the place because I haven't limited where she can. If I walk onto this exit bit, it has indeed, obviously it hasn't centred the map where Haley is, it's brought her back. She is now outside again and has landed in this area. She's not very well aligned to that grid, is she? But that doesn't matter. I'm not worried about that. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not going to freak about that. So what I want to do is just check to make sure if, um, if I use Sorryman and go in here to Barthens Provisions, didn't want to do that. I wanted to view it. Um, Haley's token's not in here, which is great. That's what I want. It's working. Yes. I wasn't too sure if I was even going to put this video up once I'd done it um, <laughs> because I wasn't confident it was going to work. 
and I thought we've got quite a few videos where things haven't worked brilliantly and we're always left with more questions at the end than we started with but this one works it's brilliant um, okay so a couple of modifications I want to make I want to select this grid um, and tile opacity I want to turn that down to zero um, so in theory that should be um, that should disappear now but it's not going to Uh, tint color. I don't want it to have a tint. Um, is it because I need to give it come on is it because I need I haven't given it an image? Can I give it any old image? Let's give it some acid. Okay let's just update that. Right so we've got an acid, acid splodge there that is that color and that might be a better way to do it. If I've given it an image, then I can make it transparent um, and that disappears. Okay, so the tile is there, we just can't see it. It's a secret tile, a secret landing tile. Let's go to bathrooms, activate this scene. So we can select, we can do exactly the same with this one, select any image because we don't actually care what it is. Um, make it completely transparent and there it is. Okay. So all I need to do is create a or find an appropriate image for this that is an exit image, which might be a case of actually making one. Um, what's the chances there's an E that says exit here? Explosion and I. No. <laughs> but that's fine. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll look for a, a suitable image for those kind of exit things. Um, that's done. I'm really happy with that. So that's how we're going to use it. That's how we're going to use Monk's Active Tile Triggers. We, as it turns out, we don't need Tagger for this purpose. We can just teleport doing it with that. So uh, there is one other place where that might be really useful for us. was right the way back at uh, Stormwreck and the Compass Rose, where we did talk about what happens if you go down these steps in the middle you should teleport to these steps here. So we can exactly do that. So let's very quickly do that as a separate example. I don't want to spend ages doing this, but let's create a let's create a new tile here. I'm going to make it that big. We know we want to give it an image. I can make it completely transparent, which is fine. Uh, and I'll come back to that in a minute. I want to create a new one here. This is going to be the land. Well, this needs to work both ways, doesn't it? This needs to work both ways. Uh, any image we like. Okay, going to make it completely um, transparent. Trigger. So active. Yes. Uh, any token that comes in here and enters it must have sight to trigger. Uh, whatever doesn't really matter. I want the action to be teleport the activating character from these stairs I want to teleport to that tile snap to grid yes uh, delete source token yeah uh, 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 yes um, preserve settings uh, avoid no that's fine we can stack them okay Let's create that tile. Let's create. Let's go back to this tile. We've got our acid thing, but we can't see it. Triggers are active. Allow any token when they enter this. Um, the action is teleport the person who set it or the token that set it. Their target's going to be here, um, center actually, snap to grid, delete source token. Shouldn't need to do that if you're teleporting between scenes. Yeah, which I'm not, so I can turn that off. Uh, blah, 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 blah. That should be correct. Good. Now, just want to double check this one again on those triggers, actions, edit it, uh, delete source token. No, I don't want to. 
So nice and quickly, we see if that actually works. In theory, it does. <laughs> uh, give me a player. Who's it going to be? It's going to be Boudicca. I'm going to just use you. So when we move on to this, so we've got our vision. And you can hear the birds. Move on to here. <gasps> we've teleported downstairs. We can now explore downstairs. And when we go back to stairs, we teleport back up there. Genius. Well happy with that. We finally have a solution to something we've been trying to do. We've got really good shops and we've got really good way of going in and out of shops now. Just need to use them. Brilliant. Thanks for all the help guys, really appreciate it. And take care.